I am playing I'm on observation duty today and I got two very excited dogs on my bed with me who are excited to play along. Yeah, are you excited to Oh my gosh. Um, I'm reading this video PG or PG-13 for um, implied nudity as far as I've seen in this game. I don't- hi! Hi! Um, I don't know what things to expect from this game. I've played the first round a lot, so I generally know what to expect from that one. But yeah, I know, I know, I'm talking. Um, but I don't know what to expect from the others. Yeah, I know, you wanna play. Um, I'm probably not gonna cut this down much because uh, with this game, as you'll soon learn, it's a kind of a creepy spot the difference game. And it's really fun for people at home usually, yeah, to play along and see if they can find the differences. And that's not as easy for them if um, they can't see the whole game and what's going on. So, I think the dogs are semi calm down. It doesn't look like it. I just got home from class, so they're both freaking out. But I wanted to go ahead and get a video out. So, let's see here. I'm gonna do the. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So, we're getting started here. Alright, so, what you do in this game is, well, this will explain a lot of it. Uh, attention! 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 All employees, uh, numerous anomalies have been detected lately. Pay extremely close attention to the surveillance camera footage and file an anomaly report as soon as possible when you notice something has changed. So yeah, so basically you're looking from room to room, observing everything, and if anything changes you use this thing down here to say what has changed. Now I've played this first round in the old house a lot, so I like to think that I'm pretty good at it. I'm actually gonna increase the brightness on my screen. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna see that. Ah, uh, that's way better. Okay. Um, cause the brightness helps you see everything, because you need to be paying attention to every little corner. I know sometimes I always keep looking at this corner, because every once in a while a guy appears there. True facts. Um, but yes. Yes. I am pretty familiar with this round, which means that I am obviously going to mess it up as soon as I record it. Because that's just kind of how it goes. Um, but there- oh, see, there was a cigar there, and now it's not there. I know that one well. And I'm sure you can hear one of the dogs chewing on there too, but you know, this isn't a professional YouTube channel yet. It's fine, it's fine. So yeah, if you'll look here, there's going to be- the report is pending. It's gonna say anomaly fixed, and then there's going to be a cigar there. Or fixing anomaly. There we go. Now it says anomaly fixed. So yeah. I That one has killed me before, so I always check for it. The goal is to get to 6 p.m. Let's see, I got a text. Okay, awesome. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't one of my roommates like, what the heck are you doing? Aww. I also have like this little, in the upper right corner, I have a thing that says, oh, you're recording, so it might block my view of some things that you guys might see. I hope not. Something feels different in here, but I don't... I'll come back to that. It feels, it feels like one of the objects on the table moved, but I don't think they did, so I'm just gonna move on. And once I start losing, if I start losing, I'll start shooting out some random reports. That's my strategy. It's a pretty good strategy. I've actually won several times on this round. I have not won once on the other round. Because there's the old house and the new house. And the old house, I believe, is easier. 
it's either easier or I've played it more. I'm pretty sure. Is, I think there's like one more room in the new house. Did, I, I feel, again, I have that feeling like the box was closer to here. I'm gonna file that. I feel, might be wrong, but I'm gonna file it. And usually as soon as I file something that I'm not sure about, I'll find something incredibly obvious in another room, and then I'll be like, no, take it, let me file. Because if you have too many anomalies, then the game will end. Yep, yeah, okay, nothing moved. That's where the box is supposed to be. I knew that. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, <sighs> yes. So this is a creepy game. If you can tell from the music at the beginning. I was literally, while I was setting everything up and testing it, the music was playing in my ear for like a long time. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize how creepy the menu screen music is. My gosh, it's all the freak. Oh, see that black hole forming there? That, my friends, is what we call an abyss presence. Kind of grows until it overtakes the whole room, but I caught it early, so let's see how much it grows. Ooh. That dawn means it is 1 a.m. It's not growing very fast. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate you, abyss, for not destroying the living room. I really, I really want... Um, the game theorist, Matt Pat, I really want him to do a theory about this game. Because there's obviously some lore here. And if you're not uh, not familiar with the game community, which I'm- Oh gosh! Okay, that boofed. Um, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you are not. Balcony. 330. Hello? Input. Hello. Um, I'm sorry? What? I did not click you. That usually only happens when I click the. Oh, that freaked. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about anymore. That was just a whole series of freak that I did not like. Uh, the painting. What was I talking about? Oh, um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the gaming community. The lore is like, um, I don't know, like the backstory. Like, what does this all mean? Like, sure, it's just a game, but what's the story behind the game, you know? Um, and I didn't know that. I, I was only introduced to the online YouTube gaming community like a year ago, and I had a friend that would talk all the time about the lore, and I was like, the lore? So I understand it's really weird when you first hear it, but now it's a part of my... Oh, that's different. Uh, now it's just a part of my vocabulary. See, the painting is different. Um, so I would really like someone, specifically Matt Pat, the game theorist, uh, to cover the lore of these observation duty games, because there's four of them. I haven't seen the third one. I've heard that it's really bad, uh, but I've seen... I've, I'm playing the first one. Um, I've seen people play two and four. And four is really popular right now. I'm not sure why that one is the one that everyone's playing right now. Um, but I really want a theory about all of the games because I think it even says in the menu screen, like, hint, there's a secret in this game. And I'm like, okay, what's the secret? Does it have something to do with that creepy voice saying balcony at 3.30? I don't know. And like I said, it normally, it doesn't do that unless I click the click the button here on this thing, it'll light up, and if I click it, so that freaked me the heck out. I was like, voice, voice, why is voice? Uh, let's see. And here we are, everything seems to be normal, which probably means everything's a mess. See, the paintings are just kind of creepy anyways, so it's sometimes difficult to tell whether they've changed unless it's like a really obvious change i feel like sometimes they're not they're pretty subtle changes 
and I feel like something is missing here. Oh, that's a lamp! You know, all my time I've been playing this, I thought it was a lantern. A lamp makes- WHAT?! Okay, so that means that three anomalies are active, so I'm gonna start shooting out some reports. I should have skipped it so you could have seen it, but... Gosh. Three anomalies are active? What? Oh, oh, there. That is... <laughs> That's not normal. Hey, it's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? Hi, yes. What is the other anomaly? I'm probably gonna- Oh! Oh! There's one. Hey, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, okay, I get it. You're trying to cover me. It's great. Thank you. No! Stop it! <laughs> Okay, it's a good thing. Oh gosh! Oh my gosh, is there... I'm gonna do object disappearance in the kitchen. I think that might be one of them. Object disappearance. Man! Ah, okay, it's two o'clock. And maybe object disappearance in the bedroom. That feels right. That feels right. Nope. What has changed? Maybe I'll do object movement in the kitchen too. Gosh, I swear, I'm usually really good at this. Okay. Object movement. Kitchen. Did I already do that? Maybe I already did that. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, gosh. oh my gosh, what is different? I don't know. And this is, this is where it's fun for the people watching, because they get to yell at me and tell me what I did wrong. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is frustrating. What's different? Oh! Door open, door open, door open, door open. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Door opening. And see, so you can see it out here too. Which is nice. The dogs are playing. So nice. Oh gosh. I don't think I got the three anomalies. I Maybe I did get all the anomalies. Wait a second. No, that's right. That's right. Hello, hello. Yeah, you're a sweetie, I know. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, dokey. What's the Oh, okay. Oh. I don't see anything. I mean, I see things, but all of them look the same. Oh gosh. Wait a Is that Did I already do object movement in the bedroom? I'm doing it again. Just in case. Gosh. I have no idea. No option. Extra object maybe? The dogs are playing. Did I already say that? I think I already said that. Dogs? 
Go ahead and get a phone call. I don't know them. Wait, I'm sorry. The toilet's floating. The toilet is floating. How long has it been doing that? No! So there's obviously a light anomaly in the living room, and I think that's what caused me the oops. I'm not sure. Oh, was that missing? I don't remember that being there. I think it, it went away. Huh. What else was different? Okay, so this was all the same. This was all good. This was all the same. Gosh, what else was different? There's a light anomaly. I'm gonna lay back. Hopefully, it doesn't ruin all my footage. Ooh, okay. That's different. The chair's different. My dog does this thing where he wants to come up on the bed, but he feels like he doesn't have enough room unless I'm like squished all the way to the wall, and that's just that's just not happening right now. I'm sorry, Weedums. His name is Wheatley. Uh, let's see. Pretty sure that object in the bathroom wasn't there in the last game. Huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Cut the chair move, though. I did that. I think I would have caught that before. Gosh. I don't know, maybe it was just that object disappearance there. I mean, there had to be four of them. There was four of them that was different. Hmm. Sometimes the obvious ones that get you as you're looking at all the detailed things. And like I said, there's a bit in my right corner that's covered up, and that could be a problem. Fine, fine. Oh, the headphones moved on the table. Doing good, doing good. Zero thirty-seven. I don't know how long each minute takes in this game. I think like seven seconds or something. I'm pretty sure a good solid round is like 30 minutes. So that means like each hour takes like what, five minutes? That makes sense. Hello? Oh gosh, hi. Hi. I had no intruders in the last round. That's interesting. Usually, an intruder is one of the first ones that come out. Unless there was an intruder and I just didn't see them. Usually intruders are the obvious ones, though. Let's see, let's see. If 
furniture does seem to be thrown around pretty haphazardly. Like, why are the chairs all facing away from the table? And, you know, why are there, like, two tables so close together? You know, like, there's one in the kitchen and one in the living room. And both of them have chairs, you know? It's a little weird. This place needs an interior designer and fast. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing anything. But it's still pretty early in the night, so I'm... I guess... <sighs> the dog was this. Alright. Wait a second. The glass isn't on the table. Glass. I wonder if it disappeared while I was letting the dog out. Let's see, let's see. So yeah, this game is actually only two dollars on Steam. Cause I was watching other people play it online and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like so much fun. And so I looked into it, and it's only $2! I really love a good, cheap game find. And there's some games out there that are free and really good, but those are hard to find. Oh gosh! That's different. Painting Anomaly. You doing okay there, bud? You doing okay? Okay! I'm just gonna move on. Bye! Okay. Alright, let's see. I bet this painting changes at some point, and it's just really hard to tell because the painting's hard to see. Maybe not. The worst parts are like the in-between moments where you're not finding anything. No, it hasn't been a long time since I found something. I bet I'm doing pretty good. It's only almost- oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it was further in the night than I know. Um, extra object? What is that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. What is it? Is it like a sculpture head? It's like spinning. I don't like that. Can you get rid of it, please? Thank you. That was weird. See, there are things in this game I have not seen. You know, I, I've played this round a lot. I feel like I know it pretty well. And every time I'm like, I must have seen all of the things by now, so it should be easy. But every, every time there's always something that I'm like, oh, hello there. Didn't know you existed. You know. It feels like the balcony's the easy one, but I there's sometimes things out here that'll get you, you know. Oh, the painting's different. Painting anomaly. Okay. There we go. Doing good, doing good. Doing, we're doing something. Oh, hello. Oh. Forgot I filed a report, but, oh, it was for the painting anomaly. That's right, I was like, what did, what was even wrong? My short attention span. Oh. Let's see. 
Some of the things that change are like really small. But if you focus too much on them, you'll miss the big things. But yeah, I would 10 out of 10 recommend getting this game if you enjoy watching me or someone else play it because it's really cheap and then you can just play it on your own and get really good at it like I thought I was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did it. What was? Th you guys saw it flicker between screens there, right? What? was that? I did not like that flicker. Maybe that was just in my head. No, it's weird though. Oh, see, so when it's blinking, usually you can click it. Balcony. No, it's in the balcony. 330. 3.30. Input. Oh! Of Mandela's death. Mandela's death. Is that what it's saying? Balcony 330 something death. Yeah, I see you. You can go away now. Dallas death, balcony 330. I've tried looking at the balcony at exactly 330. Oh, hello. And like, nothing happens. I'll, I'll stand there till 331 and I'll just be like, huh. That's a bummer. That's one of the things that I would like Matt Pat to answer for me if he has the opportunity to do so. I don't think he's a big fan of these games. Based on his experience with Observation Duty 4. Go check out his channel. Uh, Game Theory or GT Live or whatever. He has a lot of them. <laughs> Oh, hello! Yeah, so maybe PG-13. Is there, like, a music playing? Oh, there's definitely a music playing. Oh, that's unusual. Yeah, that's some sort of an alien creature, for sure. For sure. Huh. Um, excuse me! Could ha That's not fair. Well, fine then. Dang it! I was doing good too. <sighs> well, now I know not to stare at him. I guess. Jeez, my bad. My bad. All right. I don't have time for another one, so I guess that's it. Uh, I'll, I might do another round of this at some point. <laughs> Gosh. Thank you for watching! Sorry I lost! <laughs>